Hello everyone. So for my check-in, I decided to use the Betancourt article. Um, I really enjoyed this article. I feel like it talked a lot about um, roles in which classes and plays in the development of students um, and how they interact with campus uh, life. Where so um, in terms of how they're able to relate to um, other students, uh, how institutions force them to kind of um, live life like they're in the middle and upper classes. Um, and I thought that was an interesting point that the author made. Um, and also, you know, what was brought up about code switching, I really enjoyed. Um, and I think that's really important with understanding how students from um, working class uh, homes, when they come into institutions, so say like, I, I remember uh, Dr. Hernandez, you talked about um, going to uh, Miami, and I've been to Miami as well, and so I could only I could only imagine coming from somewhere. So like I'm from New York City, so coming from somewhere like New York City, inner city New York, and then going to some place like Miami, um, and how there are a whole bunch of affluent students there and people who, for the most part, have a lot of money. And if I'm a student who comes from a working class background. Um, and now I'm thrown into an environment where essentially in order for me to relate with my peers, I have to code switch and, um, you know, change the way that I talk or just certain things that I do in order to better relate to those students. Um, I could only imagine how uh, isolating that could possibly feel. Um, and also just, you know, not being able to relate to certain things that are on campus that may be for a certain type of student. And I think that really goes into how um, student affairs personnel can really uh, help students that, you know, come from uh, working class environments. Now they're being thrown into a university that unknowingly and possibly even knowingly forces them to um, kind of switch into a more middle upper class mindset um, understanding that you know these students really need extra um, not even extra attention more so just like understanding that maybe there should be programming that really uh, benefits their uh, feeling of, you know, this is my institution, this is where I belong, like that feeling of belonging. Um, and it also aids in their meaning making so that, you know, they, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, if um, we reinforce that feeling of belonging among this group of students, we are in turn bringing in a more diverse um, perspective into the classroom, because now you have this uh, student who and I could probably, I might be wrong, but this is how I feel. We have a student who maybe comes from a working class environment, has to work a lot for the things that they have, being surrounded by students who maybe be, who maybe are more well off. Um, they bring that perspective with them and that I feel provides a new um, outlook on certain class issues um, within the classroom. Uh, programming wise as well so if student affairs personnel can kind of you know reinforce that diversity in thought um, I think we'll see a, a better developed student body and campus community so thank you for listening sorry if, uh, I don't know <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my video